What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back. Uh, Motor City Sports Talk. We in the building. And uh, some breaking news came through. General Motors, you know, they're closing um, a few assembly plants across America. One in Ohio, one in Ontario, and, you know, one here in Detroit. Detroit Hamtramck, a.k.a. Pole Town um, assembly plant where they build the CT6, Cadillac, Chevrolet, Volt, and the Chevy Impala, and also the Buick LaCrosse. And I work there. They used to build the Malibu, then they replaced the Malibu with the Buick LaCrosse, and they kind of messed things up because they didn't have the space. Because a lot of the, the parts that go in the Impala, that go in the Malibu, go in the Impala, you know. And the Buick LaCrosse just, you know, kind of shook it up a little bit. But, um, you know, it's unfortunate um, that, you know, Detroit loses another plant, um, a big plant that will be empty. Um, I don't know who's going to buy it, but um, they're offering people with uh 12 years with the company voluntary buyouts you know what i'm saying uh you know so um they said the company is hoping to trim seven thousand white collar jobs that sounds like some bs but if you had 12 years in you could take a buyout i know one of my homies he just transferred down to kansas city uh, and a lot of people came back from that went out to detroit that left detroit a few years ago they came back they just came back you know what i'm saying um from Kansas City to Detroit and now you come back home because the majority of them lived in, you know came from the uh lived from Detroit went to Kansas City now they came back to Detroit and now they don't have a job and if you had 12 years you can get the buyout voluntary or they can move you somewhere else and find you a job um I know how this works um so if you're willing to relocate and I guarantee you won't be able to relocate locally you know most of the dudes were really high seniority um, 20 years and probably going to relocate locally if those opportunities are in Lake Orion or, or the powertrain plant. Why well, don't they cut a lot of people out of the Romulus uh, plant where they just added a transmission side or added the motor side. So um, yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. I, I've said it before. I said it again. Um, Detroit has to switch up the hustle and find something to replace these plants. Amazon was, was a nice little thing. Now they got to continue to find, you know, things like Amazon and, and, and stuff of that nature to replace the hustle because, you know, a lot of people that uh, stay down south, they don't understand um, how how really bad it is up north. I mean, you have all those oil fields down south and, you know, plenty of opportunity up north, especially Detroit, Ohio, Minnesota, um, Indiana. That was just built on, on plants back in the day. And now the plants are, are disappearing, man, you know, um, well, this is what GM said. GM is continuing to take uh, proactive steps to improve overall business performance, including the reorganization of its global product development staffs, the realignment of its manufacturing capacity and reduction of salary workforce. The company uh, said in a news release Monday, we recognize uh, the need to stay in front of a changing market condition and customer preferences to position our company for long term success Said GM ch uh, chairman. And CEO Mary Barra. So um, by the end of next year, you know, this plan to be, you know, plan to be done. It'd be empty. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, all all the guys that's there that don't have the years to transfer or don't, you know, don't have a, uh, you know, or just temporary employees. You know, they might as well start looking for a new job now. And it, the writing was on the wall, man. When they did a long layoff last year, production was slow. When I was there a couple of years ago, they was running so fast, and I knew you just knew a layoff was coming. Even if you knew nothing about the plant, you could just you could just you could just sense it. You know what I'm saying? And you know, cars not selling like they used to. You know, more used cars are probably being bought than ever because these new cars they don't build them the same. Everything is prefab. They snap them on like a Hot Wheel car and send them up there. Uh, when I was there, um, and they had a lot of cars that wouldn't turn over. They had to push off the line. And they weren't being built right. They weren't training the new workforce right. So it was a very, you know, piss poor managed plant. You know what I'm saying? General Motors, d -Ham, man. Uh, a lot was going on. A lot of the people, you know, were nasty. Um, you know, didn't really care. So I, it, it doesn't surprise me from being on the inside, being on the inside and, and seeing how that plant worked. And that's one of the reasons I did not come back when they called me back because I knew the writing was on the wall. And the issue is going to be all the little um sub subcontractors that they use i don't know if that's the proper word to uh call it because it's it's a ton of people in the city that that builds these these front ends these rear ends these springs these these rotors that provide jobs as well too that won't get a buyout 
You see what I'm saying? All these tier three, tier two, tier one companies that provide the IPs that the you know they go into the dashboards that might provide the seats. You know, Magna is going to be affected. Um, a, a lot of these other little companies are going to be affected as well too. So you know, with this plant shutting down, not only do you lose fifteen hundred jobs in Detroit, you losing, you know, you you're going to lose, you're going to lose a lot of more jobs. I mean, shit, this. This this may be you no know, you know five ten thousand jobs down there. I won't say that much. At least probably like five to eight. You know, with the the little other the tier one suppliers, the two tier two suppliers, man. So this is deep. But also, uh, sixteen hundred was cut from Lawrestown in Ohio, and the spot in you know, Ontario, Oshawa loses twenty five hundred jobs. So Ontario just across the uh, the water, man. A lot of people come to Canada and. and and work in Detroit, people work in Detroit and work in Canada. So this is effective. They just went on and ripped, basically ripped and raped the Midwest, man. So, um, you know, it's unfortunate, man. Um, you know, it is what it is. He said, and also, here, here goes the kicker right here. If you stay for the end. The company said its moves would save $6 billion by the end of 2020. So that's what it's about, you know, saving money, um, $6 billion. I'll link the article in the description. You know, it is what it is. Um, this is this is big time devastating. Um, but yo, you know, what can you do? Sometimes you gotta predict, and that's why you put those uh, profit sharing checks in your pocket, you put them in the bank, and you put that money up. So now the north modern now more than ever, dudes better start putting pocket in that money. And uh and if you need to look for a job right now, it's the best time before those fifteen hundred hit the streets or majority of those fifteen hundred hit the streets plus more. And look for jobs. Mother Street Sports Talk. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All the links in the description. Want to make a donation? That link's there as well. Y'all know what it is. We gone.